I'm on the North Shore of Kauai, and there is a donut place here called Holy Grail that we found out about actually on Instagram before we even got here, and I had seen other people post about them. And they use taro, which is like a root vegetable out in these mountains here, to make um, plant-based donuts. So they're, uh, they're gluten-free, dairy-free, whatever. And so they're very popular, but what's crazy about this place is they're open literally five hours a week. So they're on Sunday mornings, they're open from 7 a.m. to 12 noon. And that's it, they're closed the rest of the week from Monday through Saturday. And so they've got a line from the minute they open, they sell out of their donuts before the fifth hour even of them being open on Sundays. And so as I'm sitting in line here, you know, the waiting for this thing. And then once, once you order, you wait another half hour for them to actually produce it. And so there's all people across the parking lot just waiting for their orders. So what I'm thinking about as I'm here is when you've got such a good thing going like this, there's, there's, uh, it's only a matter of time before you get knocked off. So they're open for five hours a week and they've got a line down the street like this. But there are taro fields everywhere across the mountain. And it would be very easy for any of these other shops to start selling donuts. And so how do they protect what they've got going here um, and guard against other people copying them? So there's a couple of things, you know, for, first I'm thinking if they sell out, you know, can I get five boxes, 10 boxes? I can, can, can I buy everything they have left and turn around and sell them to the, the people behind me in line? So there's almost like a secondary market for things when they're this exclusive. And I wonder, well, could they produce more and sell them at shops around town? Because that would enhance their branding. It would get their distribution out further. They still wouldn't have to do any of the work of uh, being open, they would just produce bigger batches. You know, could they find a co-packer to help produce in more volume what they're doing and send them out to other places? I don't know if one exists on the island, but but is that possible? Um, could they franchise this? Could they license this? If they've got a good recipe and they've got this much demand, could they get other people producing these things and still only work their own five hours a week, but they're, they, they've proven the concept and now they're, they're profiting off it? Could they... Um, teach classes online about how they make their recipe and have a bigger bigger following um, but if they're not doing those things which it doesn't seem like they are then how long will it be before one of these other places pops up and puts the same kind of recipe and has you know uh, five hour ten hours a week that they're open or three days a week that they're open or seven days a week that they're open and so this is how great things start they start like this with a very limited capacity and a uh, very long wait, <laughs> big line, and a lot of uh, fanfare around what they're doing, but it can't last forever. And if you're feeling like that in your business, like you've got something going well for you, you've got a line, you've got some demand from customers, just know you've gotta do something to, to keep it up because it won't last forever.